Hey folks, Randy here doing cut and trim. So today we are working on the FS90R. The machine has got, man, it's kind of awkward. Um, the machine's got two issues going on. The first one is there's no power going from the head to the gearbox. Pretty sure that's because the shaft is worn out. Um, and then the other issue is we're not getting the trigger, I think, is stuck not going all the way and if you look um, I don't know if you can see it we're not getting much travel when we try and pull the throttle so but I'm pretty sure that's just something locked up in the actual trigger itself so let's get to work right. the easiest way to remove the shaft in my opinion is just to remove the gearbox I would use an impact to take it off, because it's obviously way easier. But it's 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday, and I'm pretty sure that would make my neighbors mad. So, I'm not gonna do that. And I can't touch that. That's what's on. If I get any grease on myself, my wife is going to get really mad at me because these aren't work clothes. And I'm the kind of guy that I usually end up buying tools or toys instead of clothes like I need to. So these are my only nice jeans and one of my few nice shirts. So. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? There we go. All right. And we're going to take the shaft out. Goodness gracious. Goodie box from my steel dealer. New shaft, same length as the old one. That's good. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Well. At least we definitely know that's what the issue was. Might be other issues, but <clears throat> there might be other issues, but <laughs> I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. But can you see the difference in those heads? One, if you can't, this one's round, this one's square. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is gonna solve the problem. Since this is a mess. Put it in that box. Now the shafts, these shafts, they're uh, they're exactly the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which way you put it in; it's going to work. Put the this part you gotta kinda finagle it on there. And this part's tricky because because it is. There. Oh, okay, cool. 
you want to make sure you're connected on both sides and there's really a there's kind of a weird trick to this but uh, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but there's a clutch drum in there and so what you do to make sure you've got it all connected is roll you're gonna roll this across the floor okay this this, this is just how I do it I'm just, there's more professional ways to do this but you roll that across the floor and if you're seated in the clutch drum the clutch drum will spin and uh, you can't I doubt you can see it on the camera but the clutch drum is spinning so we are properly seated make sure this bad boy is lined up straight or if you prefer to trim crooked you can line it up crooked I'm more of a trim straight kind of guy gotten any grease on me. It's pretty cool. You want these to get really tight. Um, the reason, in my opinion, the reason the previous shaft failed on me after two years is because at one point I was an idiot. I wanted to see what it was like to trim without the guard on. I didn't know how to take the guard off and so I ended up loosening these screws before I knew that's not how you take your guard off and uh, I don't think I properly tightened them and so the gearbox kind of walked itself out over time and that allowed the ends of the uh, shaft to round over in my opinion that's what happened I could be wrong but I think that's what happened alright that's the next take can't turn anything on until 7 o'clock. That's okay. Now we gotta deal with this trigger. Always go as overkill as possible. So, take the M12 3 ratchet, <laughs> put the hex adapter on it. <laughs> um, I don't know why steel design like everything works you can take everything off with this tool except for these screws on here so, I guess we're not really getting travels so I just want to make sure that everything's good in here probably is and I'm probably just making more work for myself but I just want to double check see any issues in the trigger mechanism so it probably just needs to be adjusted at the carb that's probably what's going on but I'd never opened one of these before so just wanted to see that's kind of cool so you can't really do anything if you do that but you let go of the safety and that lets you get all the travel you need and then you know yeah, cool all right, well, you can scratch that off the bucket list. <laughs> and then working on getting a bucket list with a better better th list of things on it. Uh, 
I really hope this fixes my problem, man. Because good God, I, I, I've been using uh, Toro string trimmer from Home Depot, and you know, honestly, I've been impressed with that machine. Like it, it's, it's worked way better than I expected it to, but it's nowhere near as powerful as this machine. So, you know, it's it's been. I've been proud of it, but it's been a real bummer to use. <laughs> so. Now we get to put all this fun stuff back together. Oh, it is going in. I always have that moment where I'm like, I can't tell if anything's actually going in or not. And I always have a really hard time getting this put back together. I think the fact that I'm recording it is why I'm, <laughs> I'm actually... Uh, this is like the easiest I've ever had putting the shroud back on. I usually have a horrible time, specifically with that one. But like getting stuff to line up. Alright, it's now 7 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. If I do this quick, Hopefully my neighbors won't wake up, but if they do, they won't be able to call the cops on me, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna be able to move on from that.